Hello students, welcome to the course on mechanical vibrations and the unit 2 deals with free vibrations and the lesson 2 deals with applications of free vibrations. Now, the majority of the applications of free vibrations goes into simple pendulum and compound pendulum, wherein we are seeing the application which is in terms of angular motion. Now, a compound pendulum, if it is given an initial angular displacement or velocity, the system will be oscillating due to the gravitational acceleration. So, you can see here a compound pendulum is pivoted at point O, its center of gravity is G and the total length of the pendulum is given by OA and the center of the pendulum is at B. The distance from the pivot point to the center of gravity is given as small d and it has been displaced from its equilibrium position by an angular displacement of plus theta. Now, if we calculate the restoring torque which is to be acting at the center of gravity will be weight force into the distance. So, the weight is mg into the distance if we are calculating it will be a d into sin theta. So, the total restoring torque is given as m g d sin theta. From this, if you write down the equation of motion, it will be j 0 theta double dot plus m g d sin theta which is equal to 0 and this is a non-linear second order ordinary differential equation. So, for the linearity, we can approximate sin theta is equal to theta. So, we can write down the same equation as j 0 theta double dot plus m g d theta is equal to 0. So, from this we can write down the natural frequency as under root of m g d by j 0. Now, we can calculate the natural frequency of the compound pendulum as under root of m g d by j 0. If we compare the same frequency with the simple pendulum frequency which is given as under root of g by l, we can write down l as j 0 by m d and j 0 is nothing but your mass moment of inertia, it can be written as m into k 0 square where k 0 is nothing but radius of gyration. So, omega n can be rewritten as under root of g d by k 0 square and your L can be written as k 0 square divided by d. Now, if we apply the parallel axis theorem to get the value of k 0 square, we can write down k 0 square as k g square plus d square, we can get the L value as k g square divided by d plus d. Now, let assume that L is totally dependent upon the summation of g a plus d which is nothing but O A. So, from this we can write down the natural frequency as under root of G by k 0 square upon D which can be analog, which can be having analogy to the simple pendulum natural frequency as under root of G by L which can be written as under root of G by O A. And from this very important concept we are getting here as the length g a is nothing but k g square by d and the location of the point a is nothing but the center of percussion. So, let us discuss about what is the center of percussion. So, if we assume that this is a bat. So, while playing cricket, if they are hitting the ball at the point a there will not be any resisting torque coming onto the hand and that is why many of the people like Sachin Tendulkar, Rohit Sharma, Virat Kohli are seen to be effortlessly hitting the ball. So, they are having the gift of timing that they have understood that where is the location of center of percussion. Thank you.